what if I can tell you that you can transform your boring RSS feed into a very engaging AI about news that that's exactly what I have done for myself. I was overwhelmed with all the AI news coming through. So I built a content management system which can handle all the news coming from various platforms, not only on web, YouTube, Instagram. I have built myself a smart native automation which fully automate the newsletter generation process. Not only to extract information from people, so it also put them all into an air table ready for my audience. This has saved me over 10 hours a week. By the end of this video, we'll have a template that you can tweak for your own newsletter or content management system. So stick around and interesting. If you're new to my channel, my name is Aftab. I partner with businesses to streamline their operation using no code tool like NA10 from AI automation to smart workflow. Whether you are building a newsletter, a research assistant, or just love playing with automation, this one is for you. Let me give you a quick overview of how the system works. I designed the system in three different stages. Step number one, which you can see on the screen, this is where all the major automation is done in step number one. What we're doing is sourcing all our news from various different sources. Either it could be on web, it could be an Instagram shorts, or it could be a YouTube short. From those, we import information and then put it in an air table in a small automation what it does is it collects all the curated information and put them in a google doc from that is go to the chat gpt and once we put the google doc in our little newsletter comes out in markdown you can just simply copy here and upload it to your preferred newsletter provider let's break down the note note by note before we start you can download the free template using the link in the description if you wanted to follow along with me let's go to the LA and attend click this three dot import from file once you import that you'll be able to have the full automation on your na10 canvas the first thing you need to do is set up rss feed that is the most crucial element of this automation because that's why you'll be able to put all your source which you have identified for your newsletter to do that let's click the rss feed the only thing we need is the link of your rss feed which we will need to set it up to set that up you need to go to this website rss.app i believe they got a free plan but with the free plan they also have some limits in there so once you're in there, you'll go to my feed. This is all the news source I currently have for my newsletter, but for you, it could be a different one. So you can see some of my news sources are from Instagram, some of them are from YouTube, and some of them are simply blog posts, other newsletter. In here, you can add all your news sources. For example, what I'm just gonna show you quickly is add news feed. There are various different sources you can use for your news source. For me, for this example, I use web page, just it's an openai.com slash news click generate once it's done save to my feed once you have added all your source of news then go to the bundle select all next give it a name youtube demo create and copy the link bundle in here and go back to automation the rss read node and paste that link and once you paste that link and test you'll be able to see this output like this where it will come up as a creator, title, link, publish date, so on. From that, the next is what we'll be doing is we'll be adding an Airtable node. The reason you're adding an Airtable node is to store the raw information and making sure that we are not duplicating the information so that we're not doubling up information when you're processing them. After the table node, then we'll go to the OpenAI model. But through that model, we are classifying the source of the news. You can see the data from the Airtable we're feeding into the model and the output is simply the link the source so based on the link the llm deciding is the source is instagram the reason being is let me show the other one based on this link and the source is saying it's a web source let me show you maybe there's one for youtube yeah there's one in here so based on this link llm is putting a label called youtube the reason you need to do that because from that we will redirect based on instagram if it is a web it will follow this part and if it is a youtube it will follow this part so we'll just use Instagram as an example. Out of the 25 of the source we have processed through LLM, 18 of them was classified as an Instagram, five of them as a web, and two of them are from YouTube. So 18 of them, so we actually push it this way. So what's happening at a high level is, first of all, we're downloading the video. So after downloading the video, we're figuring out is the video is over 25 megabyte or less than 25 megabyte. The reason we do that is because we need to transcribe the video because that's where the news is. For OpenAI Whisper model, it can only take up to 25 megabytes of video. So anything over that, we are not including in our news source. So anything less than 25, then it goes to here. From that, transcribe the news. After the transcribe, we categorize the news. And then from categorization, it summarizes the news. That's what we use in our newsletter. And then we upload all this information back in the air table. 
Now let me quickly take you through some of the critical part of this automation. Once the item goes to the switch mode and identifies an Instagram, it will come up here. Then there's a couple of things we need to do. So Instagram, we need to download the reel. There's few different ways you can actually download the reel. You can use Appify, various services, or you can use the service called rapidapi.com. It's very similar to Appify. It's a marketplace for various different API, and you can use them to scrape or download various things. So we use the API, rapidapi.com, and the API we use, it's called Instagram Downloader. What you do is go to Rapid API, search for Instagram, as you can see there's so many and you need to pick up the one you wanted to use and create an api key and connect the way it works is you need to subscribe to it there are some free tiers but if you wanted to consistently produce this you probably need to subscribe to it it'll cost around five to six bucks per month once you subscribe it will give you an api key bring it here and place it in here then you download the file output of this is basically a link for you to download the instagram story then you just do a simply an HTTP call to download the file. Once I download the file, it goes through this in here. And it goes through this two node, which what's happening in here is identifying is the file is bigger than 25 megabyte or less than 25 megabyte. The reason being is the next node, which we're using OpenAI Whisper module to transcribe the video. It can only take maximum 25 megabytes of the file. If there's anything over that, it will return an error. So we're separating that. And if it is less than 25, then it goes through this path. So it, first of all, it's transcribe. Then it's actually late categorize this news. So if I have a look at the system, look at the system message. So these are the various category I have in my actual newsletter. And based on that information, it's labeled this news. And output of that is, you can see, news tools or features. So it's coming from here. Some of them has been categorized as not relevant, but again, you need to go back and have a look, making sure that it's actually doing, rightfully categorizing the information. So then once that's done, that's where the next model is summarize the news. That's, that's how we summarize the news based on your tone, voice, and style. So have a look at the system prompt. Once you download the template, all the system prompts will be included in the template. You're a professional newsletter writer and visual content assistant for bi-weekly newsletter focused on AI and productivity. Your task is to generate clean professional newsletter entry into this in the style. So each of the different categories I have given some example. Once they're done, it goes through and update that in the air table. For web, it's pretty straightforward. Once it's identified as a web source, it goes through this path. We use Firecrawl to scrape the web page. If you're not familiar with Firecrawl, they're pretty good at scraping different websites. So sign up for a Firecrawl plan and then use that API key. So I'm using the Firecall for scraping the web page. To do that, go to the firecall.dev, sign up for an account, and once you sign up for an account, go to the overview and you'll be able to see your API key here. Copy the API key, go back to NAD and automation. Under the authentication, create a generic type, select header authentication, type authorization as it is, and then the API key, and make sure you change the name to Firecall, and then save. The process is pretty similar using I'm categorizing the news again and then from categorization I'm summarize the news exactly the same prompt I'm using here and then it goes to the air table and update the table so if it has been it's in the switch node if it is identifies YouTube well, then it will come in this area in this case I'm using Appify to scrape the YouTube shorts so only thing you need to update uh, once you get that in in this part token equal to and the rest of the information because that's the actual api key so you need to put your own api key the rest you don't have to do anything it will scrape the youtube shorts get the transcript categorize the news summarize the news and update the air table once you go through the whole motion it generally takes for me for the automation to run around eight to ten minutes depends on the number of videos or youtube short so once you've done that then you'll go back to your table these are all the one we have scraped but hasn't been used in our newsletter because it's not been ticked. So now it's ready for the next step. Once you've gone through the whole process, then you will populate all the relevant news in the air table. Let's head back to the air table. You can see some of them are ticked and some are not ticked. So the not ticks indicate that this news hasn't been used in a newsletter yet. Once you use that news in the newsletter, you will have a green tick next to it. These are the information we're actually using AI. Summarize, we labeled. The other thing we can see the link the LLM reviewed and the output. The reason I did that is so that you can actually do some spot check to make sure the LLM is consistently providing output. So this is kind of like your mini process. You don't have to look at every single one of them, but sometimes, you know, let me show you one example I saw before. 
you can see in here open index it's labeled as web but then it's classified as not relevant so i'll be interesting to know why is that classified as not relevant and go back and fix that issue if there's an issue the other thing is for each of the news it also created an image prompt if you want to generate some kind of image to better visualize the news I, by default i don't create an image for every single news it's just the image prompt and then if i need to i can manually create this image and put it in the newsletter so next i move into the second part of this automation which is this it, it's a very simple automation once that done then i run this manually if you wanted you can actually combine these two but i kept it separately for simplicity once that automation is run then i run this so let me run this test workflow what i'm doing is they're creating a google doc you know in my google Drive, then collecting all the news info all the extracting all the information from a table and populate that google document and then updating in Google, updating in Airtable to indicate that those news has been taken take and then those news has been used in the newsletter so that we don't duplicate if you go back to the Airtable you'll see that all of this is ticked now we will be taking that information and populate our our newsletter next the final piece is actually generating the newsletter using ChatGPT once this automation creates the document which we'll be using for newsletter generation let's go to the google doc this is the file created as a result if you double click there as you can see the news source link category image prompt it just dump up all the information from a table and we put that into this google doc now we'll download the google doc let's download it and then go back to chat gpt chat gpt has a function it's called project if you go there you go to the project i have a create a project for newsletter creation in the instruction that's where system prompt is the prompt is pretty detailed. I'll include the prompt in the description. Once you download the template, you will also get a copy of this prompt and you can modify it to your needs. So if I simply add the file, create the newsletter, um, create the newsletter, out, create the newsletter. So now it's actually generating the newsletter itself. It takes a few minutes to generate the whole thing. As you can see, these are all clickable. If the reader wants to get to the source, they can just click and go to the original video or the article link. Okay, so you kind of 90% there. So then copy that. And the next piece is you have to select your newsletter platform. I use Kit. Some people use Beehive, but I'll show you for both. How that work. So once GPT has created the draft newsletter, which is around 90% there, copy that. And the next step is then you have to move to your platform. So there's quite a lot of them in the market currently, but there's two most popular one is, first one is Beehive and the other one is the kit. So I currently testing both. I use the kit to send out the email and Beehive to publish it on the web. I'll show you how you can do that. For the kit, the sign up, both of the and the Beehive are very generous plan. Beehive, I think um, it's free up to 2,500 subscribers. So I'm currently at 2,065 subscriber in Beehive. Once I hit that number to 2,500, then I have to move to a paid plan. For kit, I think up to 10,000 subscribers. Once you hit the 10,000 subscriber, then I have to move to a paid plan. To actually do the newsletter, go to the send broadcast. As you can see, these are some of my previous new, uh, newsletter. New broadcast, text only, uh, delete that. Go back to ChatGPT, copy that, paste. We need to create a subject line, so we can go back to subject line, ChatGPT, I said, can you generate a subject line? I didn't like it. Can you give me more? Actually, I can use my previous one as an example. Cool, that'll do. Copy that, put it in. Back to the new broadcast sounds good if you have an issue with one of this link it's going to give you some warning so if, if you're receiving a warning in here go back and look at the link make sure the link is valid Ooh. i'm not going to use the tool of the week because i have already done it last week once you're ready click next send email are you sending email to everyone yes i'm sending all my subscribers sending it now make sure the website i need a thumbnail so what i can do is go back to the gpt with this one and you generate thumbnail let's see what this comes with so this is the thumbnail that came up with let's use that save image save to that's the one you can see some of my other thumb next we should send broadcast it's already been sent We're currently in the process of sending refresh this so for 15 clicks uh, that's pretty good i just send it this number will change 
Okay, cool. Next, I will show you how you can do it through Beehive. So Beehive, once you're logged in and sign off your account, you will end up here. Go back to the post, start writing. These are a little bit different than Kip, but should be pretty similar. We'll get the, our heading, our subject. That will be this. Then we'll get the news from here. Copy, go back to Beehive, delete this toolbox. I can link the video of the week. That's one of my other video from last week, but I'm gonna delete this one. So every week I featured a tool and I call it the tool of the week. Last week I featured nine. So you got SEO settings, which is done automatically. And then review. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And schedule, publish now, so it's publishing in the web. So there we have it. This is the newsletter from start to finish. I'll include the link for the template in the description for free. So you can download that along with all the relevant prompts. And I'll also include all the RSS feed for my newsletter, but you can use that to for you to have a look so if i wanted to go back to the automation especially in this one make sure you add delays if you're importing using this template to generate your newsletter that's fine but if you wanted to build yourself using as an inspiration to make sure to build a delay because some of these will have api rate limit so making sure that you add delay around 30 seconds to a minute in here you can see i added a delay because i was constantly getting error because you Firecrawl wasn't able to process quite a lot of information, and so I had to add a delay. It's a good practice to add delay, making sure the automation runs smoothly. Also, the output of the AI, making sure go back to your AI table and validate what the AI is actually labeling. In my case, there are instances where it's labeled as not relevant, but I can clearly see it's relevant. Store your content separately. What makes it so powerful is that every single article gets team clean structure newsletter item without lifting a finger. Also, there are some limitation to it. Remember, Instagram video must be under 25 megabytes or otherwise the Whisper model won't transcribe them. Sometimes the YouTube transcription will be disabled by the video uploader. So in that case, the Amplifier will times out. But what you can do in that case, if you go to the Amplify settings, stop workflow, you can change that to continue. So even if it's an error, it will continue to run through because maybe you get an error for that particular later video, but the next one, it will, if you just simply stop workflow, it will simply stop the whole workflow and you've got to start again. And also the output of GPT sometimes, it's not 100% accurate. So make sure you review your newsletter before you send it. Click the link in the description to get my step-by-step -step guide with the template uh, AI prompt and node configuration. You will have the template, you will have the AFS table, API provider. There we have it, a fully automated AI powered news curation system from R RSS to AI table. Every piece of the content get classified, summarized, tagged for your own newsletter newsletter or content workflow if you found this helpful hit the like button drop a comment if you want a version that works with x or tiktok next week i'll be showing you how to generate a linkedin post using the same system don't miss it hit subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one